Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how you can repost images and use the auto tags and auto mentions feature. You'll find on the repost tab, the menu icon here, we have tag users and caption mentions. I'm going to set up a simple repost action. So we're going to search the hashtag and repost two items. Check my account I'm going to use for this test. And then in tag users, what we are going to do, we are going to tag the original profile that posted the image. So we will need to use a token, user ID, and clicking insert, I've already done, clicking insert and it will set it for you. Very important, you will need to check, perform the scrape for each action. That means we will perform a search on each image we are about to repost. The other method for image tagging is to run one search for the whole action and find enough results which you will then use in sequence for your tagging. This was covered in a previous tutorial with a title of auto tags via search image posting. You can find that tutorial on our YouTube page or linked from the tutorial board on the forum, rootjazz.com slash forum. Then, coming back to this tutorial, we will need to make sure our custom search is going to return a user URL or ID. So what happens here is, is that out of the way? Before reposting the image, we will take the user ID from the profile that posted the image, pass it into the search, and get the result out from this step here. Click OK. We're going to want one tag per image because our search will only return one result. And now we'll see the tags are assigned. For the mentions, um, what we are going to do again, we are going to do a search per image we are reposting. But here, I want to search for three followers of the account that posted the image. So we are going to set our custom search as followers. Okay, here I have set three. So what will happen is when we repost the image, we will take the user ID of the user who posted the image, pass that to our search, which is followers. And so we will scrape the followers of the profile that posted the image. And then we will mention those three users. And it's indicated here. We'll take that. Then for captions, we will need to place a token into our caption that will be replaced by the users found. So we will go to bulk assign captions. Here's what I set up earlier. We will do our caption mentions first. Then we are going to post the original caption without any mentions. And then we are going to do a, another mention of the original author. So this caption here, you can find it in the tokens here. Or this token for the caption you can find here. And in the token, there's various things you can use. Clean the tags, clean the mentions, clean all. So to place a token, you simply have the cursor where you want it. We could post the full caption. That would include all the original mentions and tags. We could do a clean all. Which would post the original caption but remove the tags and remove oops, 
So I would we're going to post the caption and remove all the mentions and I'll put the caption to come back here. So quick recap. The caption mentions is what is going to be replaced by our auto mentions. Caption clean all will be the original caption from the image, which we will clean of hashtags and mentions. And image username is the username who posted the original image. And we're going to put an ampersand sign here, which will make it a mention. So click save, click repost, action will be created. It will be sent to the processing tab. We are waiting, we have to turn the processor on. Quick double click. See, we are logging in. The sunset hashtag search to find the images to repost. Just doing some loading here. Here we found immediate, we're going to repost, so we're downloading it. Now we're getting the user tags. That's the caption we are posting. So if we go to the home page of this account, refresh, it's a new image. Now you see by the little icon here, that means it's been image tagged. Magal Magalizabata, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but they are the original author who posted this image. See, we have also done the mention here. Here are the three mentions. These will be three followers of the original account. And there was no caption added. So we can assume that the image was posted without a caption. So let's go back to the application. And it's finished here. So we can scroll back through now. So Let's go back to that second image and quickly run through the logs. Where does it start? We'll find where the last one says success. Okay, so that's where we were. That's the first image we posted. So we'll just scroll down here. So you can see here, we found the second image that we're going to repost, the program is downloading it. It's actually downloading three images because we will be reposting an album, um, a carousel image. That's where you have a post of multiple images. Um, performing the user tag search on the user ID. So that means we're just getting the user who posted the original image. Then we are performing our scrape of the user who posted the image, the followers of search users here. Um, so yeah, yeah, that search is finished as we found our three users. There are the three users we will be reposting. This is the caption with our three mentions, the original caption, and then posted by our other token. And here we are just scrolling through some more of the logs. If we now go back to the feed. There was the first image we reposted. We refresh. Here is the second image. And you can see it is an album. So we'll bring it up. Again, we can see it's been tagged with the image tag. We click. And we have Javiv. Um, again, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but they've been tagged in the image. We've mentioned them in the image. Here is the original um, the original caption, a good place to forget the problems, and three users we have mentioned. So we just scroll through the images. Oh, there we go, this seems the original one is just three versions of the same image with a different filter of some kind. Anyway, that's how we can repost using auto tags and auto mentions. 
how we can use the search via each post functionality. That for you. How we can use a scrape for each action, feeding in the user ID um, to do tag the original profile, and how we can use the user to run a search to get users to mention or tag. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. Any questions you have, please come to the forum, rootjazz.com slash forum. Please post any questions you may have on this function or any other fun functionality of the application. And someone will be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.